Hello gang, welcome once again to Living Off the Slab. Now today what I'm going to do is a follow-up video to the one that I did a few weeks ago on riding in the heat. Because it seems that I caused a little bit of a stir by suggesting that black jackets and lighter colored jackets really didn't have that much difference as far as the temperature goes, right? In fact, how hot they make you. So what I'm going to do here today is we're going to perform a little science experiment and we're going to test my theory. Now, of course, this runs contrary to what most people believe is common sense and what most people say that they have experienced, that black clothing is hotter than white clothing. But as I said, we are going to actually put that to the test today by taking my black climb latitude jacket and my light gray, or what I might refer to as white, uh, Revit mesh air jacket and see is there really a difference between how hot I get inside those jackets, both while I'm standing out in the sun and while I'm riding, which is the most important. So first, let's take a look at these jackets that we're gonna be testing, right? This first one is the one I have on right now, and that is my Climb Latitude jacket. It is my primary jacket, so if you've watched my videos, you've seen it many times. This jacket weighs about six pounds, right? And it is a heavy Cordura material with a Gore-Tex inner lining. It has no mesh in it. It just has front vents, vents in the arms, vents in the pits, and an exit vent. So the second jacket is this one. It is a Revit Air mesh jacket. And as you can see, it's a very light gray material, Cordura material, almost white. And then it has a gray mesh panels in it. Right, and the panels go all the way down the front, all the way down the back, and along the insides of the arms. So it has a lot of ventilation. Also, it's about half the weight at three pounds that the climb latitude is. Okay, next let's take a look at the equipment that we're gonna to use to perform these tests. First, I have this little infrared heat gun right here, right? This is gonna measure the external temperature of the jackets. The next piece of equipment, and probably the most important, is this little gadget right here. This is called a sensor push. And what it is, is a digital and wireless thermometer and hygrometer that is made to use for like cigar cases or guitar cases where you want to maintain constant humidity and temperature. So what I'm going to do with this is I've put it on this little rope and I put this thing over my head on my neck and I'm going to wear this or I did wear this during this experiment on the inside of my shirt. Now the shirt that I wore for these tests is this one right here and that is one you've seen before that is my LD Comfort right my long sleeve shirt and actually the one that I prefer to wear in the heat and it is a wicking garment. Now I wore that sensor underneath the shirt so that I was able to get as close as possible to measuring my temperature, right? Not the temperatures of the jacket, but how hot I was actually getting. Okay, so now that we've established all the ground rules, the jackets that we're going to use, and the equipment that we're gonna to use to do these tests, let's get into the tests themselves. And the first one, basically I laid the jackets out in the middle of my lawn, and we let them heat up in the sun, and then we tested both the external and the internal temperatures of the jackets. And so we're going to measure the surface temperature of these jackets after they've been out in the sun for a while. And we're expecting that we're going to find the black jacket to be substantially warmer than the lighter colored jacket. But let's take a look and see. So that shows that the black jacket is 153.3 degrees right there. All right, that's pretty darn hot. So let's check out the lighter colored jacket. While the lighter colored jacket is still hot, it's 108.5 degrees, so substantially cooler than the black jacket. Again, on the outer surface temperature. 
So just for interest sake, I just measured the inside of the black jacket and it was 112.4 degrees. All right, so again, while still hot, substantially cooler, all of that heat that's on the outside of the jacket is not getting to the inside of it. All right, for the white jacket, I did the same thing and I found that its internal temperature is 101.4 degrees. So there's not a big a difference between the outer temperature and the inner temperature of the white jacket. Now, the big question that you're probably asking is, is this test really relevant, right? Does it really mean anything? And in truth, it probably doesn't, right? Nobody wears their jackets like this. You don't throw them on the ground, right? You put them around your body, right? And they're not lying out flat. They're, again, enveloping you, right? And they have a much larger surface area that is exposed to wind conditions and the sun and all kinds of other things. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to put the jackets, again, on me. We're going to test the external temperatures, but more importantly, we're going to test how hot I get while I'm sitting out in the sun with these jackets on for 15 minutes. All right, so first, what is the uh, outside temperature of this jacket? All right, and that is 119.4 degrees. All right, and what is the sensor, sensor reading uh, for my body temperature inside this jacket and that is 94.7 degrees. All right, so it's been another 15 minutes sitting out here in this light gray jacket and uh, my inside temperature, my internal thermometer there is 92.1 degrees Fahrenheit and let's check the external temperature of the jacket. And that is reading 99.3. Right, now this, at least in my opinion, is a much more meaningful test. While it doesn't really tell you how good the jacket is while you're moving down the road, it is a good indication of how hot they will be, like when you're stuck in traffic, for example. Right, and the black jacket is a little bit hotter. But notice that the difference between the black jacket and the lighter color jacket, again, a full mess jacket, right, is only... 2.6 degrees, right? So it's not that big of an amount, right? A lot of people I've seen quote out there that the difference between a black jacket and a lighter color jacket can be 10 or 15 degrees. Well, again, that's true if you throw them flat on the ground and you measure their external temperature. But when you put them around a body, you have a greater surface area and you have a little bit of an environmental breeze blowing across them. The difference is get much smaller. And again, I want to point out here that I think, anyway, the important thing here isn't how hot the external temperature of this jacket gets, right? It is how hot I am inside the jackets. All right, so now we're going to move on to what I think is the most important test, right? And that is how hot do I get while I'm riding in these jackets? And to do that, I am going to go on the same route, about a 30-minute route. I'm going to wear each jacket. I am going to stop in the middle of the route at the same location, and I'm going to measure the external temperature of the jacket and also how hot I am getting inside that jacket, again, using that digital wireless device. So I just had a great little ride around uh, the reservoir over here, Diamond Hill Reservoir. So I decided to stop and uh, check what my, my temperature was inside the jacket. And uh, let's see what that is. Okay, and that comes off at 86.9 degrees right there. And my uh, external temperature on the jacket, let's see. That is only 86.3, so they're, they're roughly the same. I'm 
back home from uh, the first ride and uh, the jacket, uh, or excuse me, the, the thermometer inside my jacket lists uh, the temperature at 87.4 degrees and uh, my bike says that the air temperature right now is 86 degrees so again not that much difference. at the same place uh, where I checked the other jacket so we're going to check this one as well and I have an internal temperature for this particular jacket at 84.9 degrees I think that's about a degree or so cooler than the other jacket um, and I checked the external temperature on this jacket as well and uh, we've got 83.4, which I think, again, was about a degree or two cooler. So this jacket is definitely cooler, but not substantially so. All right, let's take one last set of readings. The bike says it is 87 degrees, one degree hotter than it was before. My internal temperature is uh, right now 85.7 degrees. Right. And the jacket temperature is 84.2. After riding in both of these jackets, right, we got an average temperature, right, my internal temperature for the black or climb latitude jacket at 87.15 degrees. My temperature with the light colored jacket, the mess jacket, was 85.3 degrees. So the difference, that is how hot I was getting inside each of these jackets between a heavy black jacket and a lightweight mess jacket, was only 1.85 degrees. The characteristics of each of these jackets and how I felt was slightly different. Right, with the heavier jacket, well, the one without the mesh, the black jacket, right, I did feel a thicker layer of sweat upon me, right? and I had a smaller amount of breeze that was coming through the jacket. So the cooling effect was actually, again, the wind coming through and evaporating the sweat slowly, right? and it just kept me with this nice, cool sensation as I was riding. On the other hand, the mesh jacket, while I had a little bit of a layer of sweat left on me from riding in the climb jacket, right, that went away after about five minutes or so, right? That sweat got evaporated very quickly because of all the air that was coming through. And the cooling effect after that was really coming from the air that was flowing across me. Now this particular day that I was riding on was only in the low to mid 80s. I think it was about 80 degrees when I started this and somewhere around 84 degrees when I ended it. Right, so this day was really tailor-made for a mesh jacket. Right? By all accounts, by all common sense, this mesh jacket should have kicked the butt of this climb jacket. Right? I mean, come on, the climb is heavier, it's black, it doesn't have as much ventilation, yet the difference in the two jackets was very small. So why is that? Why is there not that much difference between a heavy, thick, black jacket and a lighter weight mesh jacket, right, with a lighter color, right? Well, the reason is because even though the black does absorb more heat, it also radiates more heat, right? It radiates heat better. So when you get air flowing over the top of that jacket, right, the heat that it's collecting is going to be dissipated extremely quickly. And you can see that by the surface temperatures of the jacket, right, while I was riding. It was nowhere near the 120 degrees that I was getting while I was wearing the jacket sitting out in the middle of my yard. So the bottom line here, I guess, is that when you're riding, right, there really isn't that big a difference in the color of jacket that you choose, right? Again, a a degree or two, right? And I would even bet that if we had two jackets that were exactly the same materials except differences in color, that there would be 
very little difference, if any at all. Right? I think that what gave the advantage to this Revit jacket, again, was that it has a ton of ventilation in it, and it happened to be right in the temperature range where that is highly beneficial. Right? Other than that, again, there really isn't that much difference. So, numbers don't lie. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, please consider supporting this channel. In the description of this video, you'll find several ways in which you can help to support the channel and keep these videos coming. Just pick the ones that make most sense to you. Whatever it is, we greatly appreciate all the help. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.